what is the microsoft dynamics d365 finance and operations so most of the people already know what is the d365 finance like what is a erp and all but i just wanted to give some kind of introduction about the erp first of all okay so let us understand what do you mean by erp so erp is nothing but it is some kind of enterprise resource planning so in any company for example as a uh, business person if i wanted to start a business i wanted to have some kind of information what kind of information i should have capital i should have and i should have the capital along with the resource planning everything i should maintain and i should or find out a good place where i am going to start a, my business so once i have this all the information i have to manage the people i have a money i have a resource i have a machinery i have everything in my hand so i need to maintain the people to complete the business to get a very good profits out of that so that is called as a planning so for any company if you don't have a planning you will not be able to get a success out of that see the main business motive is to get a profit so to get a profit definitely there will be a lot of hard work which companies has to do it right so how they have to pay salaries to the employees and they have to buy new machineries if any machineries are uh, having some kind of uh, issues and all everything they have to replace and buy a new machinery this is a cycle cycle of the company so everything they have to manage in a proper planning way so that is called as a enterprise resource planning if any business person has success a uh, success their business because of their planning only if you don't have a proper planning of your resource utilization then definitely you will not be end up with the profits so that is a main motive of that so what is the content of that okay fine now i i understood the motive of my business is to get a profit and i i need to have a proper resource planning and all so what kind of steps i need to follow so in our erp there is a step by step activity which companies has to follow has been mentioned there so if any person wanted to start their business they have to buy a erp product so that they will be able to follow the erp instructions to get a profit so there are many erp products are available in the outside market so what are the products are available erp softwares you will be calling it right so most of the people know about the sap tally oracle people soft microsoft gp then my it comes to microsoft dynamics ax etc so there are unknown uh, erp softwares also available for less price with uh, less memory and all some kind of information uh, some kind of uh, softwares are available so but these are the very uh, famous kind of products what i can say so these will be available in the market depends upon the company and the uh, capital which they are investing the turnover of the company they are selecting a particular erp product for their business and they are making use of that okay so many are there out of that why why should i need to fetch my microsoft dynamics ax only because microsoft dynamics ax has been introduced in 1992 in a a diff, you know like uh, this is a combination of ibm and damgard company okay so they both companies has been started this particular microsoft dynamics so after that they have uh, modified the namings and they have uh, merged the companies and all and they have uh, given this product to microsoft company in a 2002 so uh, in a 2002 microsoft has acquired
okay microsoft has been acquired the product in 2002 year and from there they started innovating the things and they started doing the so much of research what can be or uh, added new product what can be added a new feature so that if i add this new feature which business will impact see there are in a in, if you talk about in india how many kind of uh, sectors are available manufacturing sector retail sector right of uh, uh, this uh, agriculture sector many kind of sectors are available right for each sector they will be having different kind of functionalities working there so for each sector if i wanted to support my product in each sector definitely it should be a flexible and it should have all the functionalities inside the application then only the people will be using for example now i wanted to have some extra information in the purchase order form since it is a manufacturing company for me but in your product in your microsoft product you don't have that feature so then uh, my primary business is manufacturing and if your product is not supporting then why should i take your product and what is the use of taking your product also definitely i will not come for you i will go for a, another erp product who is giving this functionality for me so that is how the people will be looking the business people or the companies will look for this kind of information so that is why microsoft keep doing a innovations and they will keep investing some money to get a new features out of the product okay so how many kind of products are available in our microsoft dynamics only so now let us talk about a versions so don't get confused about a version version is nothing but if you have a redmi how many kind of uh, models are there model or version both are same redmi it started with the redmi note 4 then redmi note 6 Note 6 Pro, Redmi Note 9, 9 Pro, like this, they have some kind of different different models are available in the market. In the same name, they are releasing a different models. In each model, do we find any difference? Of course, we will find some kind of difference. Maybe camera will be increasing, camera quality might be increasing, the space might be increasing. and they will be giving some kind of extra features and all so they will show some kind of difference between old model to new model and they will innovate uh, they will invent a new model in the market with a high price and all in the similar way from the beginning of microsoft uh, dynamics uh, birth we have multiple versions are available initially we have a microsoft version as a 2009 before 2009 they have uh, when they before microsoft uh, has acquired it was with ibm and all right so they have given some kind of different naming say x 2004 and all so ignore about that so let's try to understand once microsoft has acquired they have introduced microsoft dynamics x 2009 version this is a one of the version okay 2009 version when you see this number 2009 you feel that it has been introduced in 2009 year no okay don't be in that mode so it is a 2009 the number they have given as a 2009 version but it has been introduced in 2002 only okay so after 2009 version they have introduced a another version called as a microsoft dynamics ax 2012 version okay 2012 version has been introduced after 2009 version now currently they have after this 2012 version they have introduced a microsoft dynamics D three sixty five F and this is the latest version which we have it in our particular product. Okay, so let us try to understand what is two thousand nine version. 
what is 2012 and what is day 365 okay so this is a older version very very older version which is having very very less functionality available like uh, the view uh, for example uh, when you compare with your nokia keypad mobile hope you remembered your keypad mobile right most of the people already saw this because we are from 90s so definitely we might see that keypad mobile so when you see the keypad mobile how that looks like what is the ui of that mobile so it won't look good at all right so there is a key pack keys one two nine keys are available red color green color symbol and if you see the screen also very very small screen and if you wanted to search for a contact there is no search button and all just you need to use a key button to uh, go up and down and all it's something entirely different the ui interface of the mobile is very very bad for a keypad mobiles earlier in the similar way 2009 also is a, a very older one like uh, the interface also it's not look good and the options also will be available in a uh, vertical mode so when i wanted to open any form so i just need to click that form and the options will be showing in a vertical mode so it doesn't look good and it is not so user friendly so after that what microsoft has decide, decided so let us rechange the interface of the application completely so that people will get uh, interested to use this particular application so when they are using when they have given a ax 2009 version very less companies are interested to take this particular product maybe because of the company name or like because uh, microsoft means it is a big company and they might have a goodwill right on that name only people has taken the product and not so interestedly using that after that microsoft has been uh, invested so much of money and they, they have uh, changed complete interface of the application in 2012 when you compare with 2009 version with 2012 version the interface will be completely different this is very good 2012 version is very good the very a very good interface which is having lot of features are available in this particular application okay once they have introduced ax 2012 version people started using this application because they feel this is a quite better than 2009 the performance wise the screening wise uh, the cost wise like cost is almost it is similar only but because they are getting extra features right extra features wise everything it is a far better than 2009 version that is why people has so much of interest towards a 2012 version so currently is 2009 version is available in the market any idea no currently this 2009 version is not available in the market so microsoft itself is not see if you wanted to buy anything uh, for example one plus mobile i wanted to buy okay to whom you will go if one plus company is not producing a one plus mobiles definitely in the market you will not be able to find out not even single piece of one plus mobile because one plus company itself is not selling the product at all then how will you get that product or iphone mobile anything right so in the similar way ax 2009 version is not giving any like microsoft is not selling this product and it is nowhere available in the market so currently microsoft is not supporting this product not supporting is nothing but not selling the product okay so now if you wanted to use a microsoft product either you should go for a 2012 version or d365 f and go if you wanted to go for 2009 definitely as a as a fresher or like as a new business person if you wanted to take 2009 version 
definitely you will not get a license from the microsoft the license you you have to get a license right that license will not be available because microsoft is not selling a new licenses to any company on 2009 version okay for example i have used i am using this 2009 version in a uh, like a, a 2010 year i i have taken 2009 version still i am using the same version for them what is the benefit like uh, for them what is the treatment see whoever is already taken previously they have already taken the version so there is only one option for them if they wanted to migrate their data which is there in 2009 version they have to migrate to d365 or 2012 version migrate is nothing but copy the data from older version to higher version if you have that that is a one possible like you can copy the data from older version to higher version so that you will be in a latest version okay no i don't want to copy the data i want it to be in 2009 version only then what is the treatment if you want it to be in a 2009 version only then you will not get any support not even single support from a microsoft if you have any issue in the application you cannot approach the microsoft because in the straight away microsoft will deny your request because you are in a older version and it is a outdated version since microsoft is not supporting so then what should i do you have to resolve your issue which is happening in the application within the company you have to do the resolution otherwise if you need proper support you cannot get a proper support from microsoft so currently is this version still available in the market whoever is companies are still using of course there are 5 to 10% of the companies still they are using a 2009 version okay still in the see they are not getting a help from microsoft but still they are managing on their own and they are still running this particular 2009 version so we can't force them to move to the other versions and all right let them use this product because microsoft is not supporting on their company help only they are just running this application so do we get any opportunity to work in this particular 2009 version for example now we are learning we are going to learn this uh, product and in the interview or in the company if i get a chance to place so will i get a chance to work in 2009 version so 90% you will not get a chance to work in this older version because very less companies are using this 2009 version right so because you are learning a d365 latest version definitely if you get a opportunity to work in 2009 also you will not show interest because 2009 if you work what is the extra knowledge you will be learning gaining so because in d365 there are many many new features are there and you will be learning many things so you have to reduce your knowledge to join in a 2009 version so very less chances to get a opportunity to work in 2009 version but still okay manageable if you get a opportunity and if you wanted to work in 2009 also it is okay subject point of view the concepts will be same in every version concept will be same the view the uh, form a uh, view everything will be bit different in a uh, each application wise so maybe uh we can't uh, predict that uh, we will be getting in 2009 version or 2012 version the opportunities but this is having very less chances because companies are also not having only 5% or 5 to 10% companies are using this product okay so i go i know like a few of my colleagues are start, uh, colleagues has joined in a hcl company where they are working in a 2009 version okay so in capgemini uh, hcl and all like they are still using a older versions 2009 2004 versions and all so maybe once uh, like uh, they will tell you right if you get a opportunity they will tell you like we are going to put you into the this particular application are you interested and all so maybe that decision you can take it okay now let's talk about a ax 2012 version so ax 2012 version is a quite good application 
compared to 2009 from the point of performance wise or interface wise the functionalities which is having more than 2009 version more functionalities ever available in 2012 version so here is it currently available in the market so yes of course this is available in the market so earlier in the last year microsoft has uh, declared that they are going to stop giving the support for 2012 also okay so microsoft has uh, informed that they are going to stop the helping the 2012 version also so because uh, do you know any reason why microsoft is uh, doing this kind of activity they want why they are not supporting older versions because those all are their products only right why they, they wanted to do this kind of activity any idea why they are not giving a support? For example, now uh, you are a businessman. Okay. So initially you have introduced a Nokia mobiles, keypad mobiles. So, and after that you have uh, started investing your money, everything into your uh, touch mobiles and you are building new features and all. So, but in the villages and all, people still using a keypad mobile because they are uh, addicted are they used to use that product? They don't want to spend some time to learn the new things and all. But if I stop that product uh, distribution in the villages, definitely they have to buy my mobile, right? Because I spent a lot of money on the new mobile. And if people are not seeing this new mobile, it's a waste of my uh, innovation or it's waste of my cost also. If I wanted to attract the people to buy this new mobile, what should I do? I have to stop the old product supply. Then I have to uh, do the business for the new products and I have to uh, show the demo or I have to tell the people what is the benefit of this new mobile and all everything. So I will project more about a new mobile, new model. And the old mobile, first of all, I will stop the distributing. So then people will start coming to the new model. In the similar way, Microsoft is also innovating so many things and they're investing. It is a cloud-based D365, like your data will be on a cloud. So you will not be having any, any issue. See, if you wanted to take a backup, what you will do? You will buy a hard disk and all. But if it is a cloud backup, then you don't need to worry. You can log into any anywhere, like from India, you can log in from Dubai or from UK or US. You can log into your cloud account and you can access your data. So those kind of features they are building in a D365 FNO. But still people are, I'm okay with 2009 and 2012. If they say like that, whatever the amount they spent on this particular product and everything will be a lapse, right? That is the reason they stop giving a support so that people has to come. Forcefully, we are doing this kind of activity. If I stop giving a uh, support for a 2012 version, then companies definitely not today or tomorrow or after one year also they need a support from microsoft for any kind of functionality then they have to come to new product so that is how microsoft is uh, having a design or planning they have so that they will stop after 10 years they will stop the old product see maybe after d365 we don't know which up version will come so once that new version will come they will start uh, they will stop giving a services for this also okay so currently AX 2012 is running, but uh, I heard that they are going to stop the support for 2012 version also, but I'm not exactly sure whether they stopped uh, giving us a, a help to 2012 version or not. Like what kind of support? For example, in 2012, if I have any issue, which as a company, I'm not able to resolve. As a company, in the company, I have 10 consultants. Everyone tried, they are not able to find out the issue. Then finally, they will go to the Microsoft only for a helping. So if Microsoft is supporting, then they will help to resolve that issue. Otherwise, they will straight away say that we are not supporting 2012 version. Maybe this J December, they will stop giving a service support to 2012 version. But most of the companies are still using 2012 version. So like uh, 40 to 50 percent of the companies are still using a 
2012 version because almost the functionality wise 70 to 80 percent functionalities are available in 2012 which is already there in d365 so if it is 80 percent common then definitely people already from the beginning they have uh, using 2012 and for them it is very uh, difficult cost wise if you if they wanted to migrate to d365 cost will increase right and uh, they have to give a training to their employees also because all employees are addicted to do in the 2012 version. So they have to give a training to employees to learn the D365. So, so much of course they need to spend it. That is why they are not uh, interested to move to new application. They are happy with the older versions and that is why there are more companies, 40 to 50 percent companies are still using a 2012 version. Okay. This is one of the good application which I can say because uh, this is almost having all functionalities of D365 only. Okay, do we get any opportunity? If you, if we learn this application, like do we get any opportunity? Yes, of course, if you learn D365 or 2012, any version, if you learn, definitely if you, uh, the concept wise all are same, okay. Like uh, what is a purchase order? What is a sale order? What is a general ledger module? Everything will be same, but only the thing is the view. This is on-premise environment. What do you mean by on-premise environment? On-premise environment is nothing but the database is with the company only. For example, I am from HCL company. My company de details will be there with me only. Whatever AX I'm using 2012, the database will be inside HCL only. There is no copy of database with Microsoft and all. But when you talk about a D365, it is a cloud-based environment. Okay, what do you mean by cloud-based? your data will be storing in a cloud that there is a backup will be available in a cloud if you lost the data definitely you can take a backup from the cloud environment so that is why the url your logging will be there like you don't need to in a google only you can just copy the link and you can use that if you have access from outside intranet or internet and also you can use that access you can use that link and you can uh, work on that particular application so since it is a cloud based whereas 2012 version and all you need to install a vmware and you need to log into the application so there is a big uh, login things are available for uh, like uh, the process will be there for a 2012 whereas for a d365 since it is a cloud based the main benefit is it is a cloud based the data will be very secure user friendly and lot many features are available for each kind of business that is why people are more attracting towards a d365 here 50 percent companies are more than 50 percent companies are using this d365 okay if we learn latest version there will be a lot of chances to get an opportunity in the market. If you are into older version, for example, I know only 2012. I don't know how D365 will be visible. Then definitely I will not take you because I need to train you, right? Again, on D365, maybe it will take one month or two months. So I can't spend one month or two months on you to learn the things. I need an immediate person who will work on d365 that is the reason if you learn the latest version it is very helpful for you to get an opportunity wise and the new things what is upcoming in the application and all for example i learned d365 but i have a i got a chance to work in ax 2012 can i agree that option of course the functionality wise both are same you can mention that yes i am interested for 2000 d365 but unfortunately i did not get the chance so it's okay i can work on a ax 2012 also because both are same if you learn this application you can work 2012 also if you learn 2012 you can work in d365 but it will take some time so that is why learn d365 then it is very easy for you to work in 2012 version also i'm clearly saying the concepts wise both application not only both these three versions are similar 
2012 and D365, 100 percent similar. 2009, one or two points will be vary, varying the concept wise. That's all. So that is why just try to concentrate what is like a few people wanted to work in 2012 version, right? So that's the reason I'm telling concept wise, it is the same. The navigation, like for example, in the general ledger module, I wanted to create a chart of accounts. The navigation is also almost the same in a D365 and 2012 version. So try to compare the applications and learn so that definitely you will be getting a good opportunity or like you will be getting good knowledge into the application point of view. So this is about the versions.